previously. And now we continue. Justin Dan here and welcome back to my Detroit Become Human. So in the last part, uh, we realized what the fuck the big like secret is with like Kara, like why is like Todd is just such a fucking asshole. Just fuck that guy. Just uh bon appetit, bitch. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. So now we're playing as Marcus. Who turns out it's actually an Android helper for a really famous painter guy. And they seem to get along just fine. Oh, that sucks. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody, and Why that cool bell thing to always stay notified. And sure. let's go do some Android okay, shit. Can't call a dime, people. Huh? I don't know, I guess, uh, find something to do. Hmm. Uh, read a book? Yeah, let's, um, read a book. Shakespeare. You know, let's go with Play Doh. Let's go with some Play Doh. Let's go with some old classics. What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. I, I really like Carl. I, I I really am liking Carl. I really do. I'm liking this guy. How much more bad he's gonna die? Like he's 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 most likely gonna die. That's probably gonna bring Marcus over the edge. Probably. That's gonna probably. He's, no, you know you know what? He's probably gonna die because those like asshole like oh Android are bad things probably gonna do some bad shit to him. And then Marcus is gonna be like, well, you guys, you know, fuck you guys, I'm gonna be an activist now. Oh, that's fucking cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. You got, boss. No, we good here. Oh, okay. Anything here? Any, any clue? Oh, 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 what, what is this? What is? Okay. Um. All right. Tidy up that up. Your brushes and bristles and all the fabulous, fabulous. I think you go. All right. That's good and clean. All right. Anything else? Anything else need to clean before I go off and do activism shit? Uh, this here, huh? What is? Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Just um. Okay. Anything here? Hey, he's a sculptor. Hey, good for him. Um, I think that's. Oh, now I see it. Now I see it. It's a, it's a person's face. 
So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. The giant head. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. What, me? Um, Give it a try. I'm an android, so like, it's got to download the uh, Paint? painting. What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Okay, I, I have to download paint.exe first, but okay. Find a touch of the team. Statue. Desk. Okay, call painting. No, I'll, I'll hate statue. See how well paint.exe is functioning. Ah, seems to be working just that fine. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world; it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't. I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. Um. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. All right. I'm just closed. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Is that painting really goes? Oh yeah. I am Bob I'm the Android of Bob Roth. Fucking try me. The Android Bob Roth. Fucking let's go. Hey, Dad. Oh. Leo. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Oh. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Right, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear oh, it's not that. Uh, don't lie to me, Leo. Oh, what difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. Oh, he's a dr oh, I see. The answer's no. I see. What? Why? You know why. He's not gonna let you do drugs. Like, yeah. fuck that. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, because I'm, right? Because I'm not a fucking drug addict. Yeah, what's what's he got that I don't? I help you. Smarter, body. more obedient. Not like me, right? Well, I'm not a smack. You know what? This head. thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. 
You never loved me, Dad. What? You never loved me. Tip a bitch. You're the one who's like, oh, I need money for snap. Like, no. What the fuck? Dad, I have money. I need to go do drugs. I'd do the exact same thing. I'd be like, fuck it out my house, bitch. Wow. Damn, the painter. You know, you treated to ask for money. Well, because, like, is, is, is it our fault he's an asshole? Is it our fault that he's, like, a fucking drug addict? No. I'm sorry, but no, he made the right decision. Like, I was, I was like, shut the door. I need money. Why, wow, you're on it again. What? No, fuck out my house. I, I can, I can, there's cocaine in your back pocket. I can see that. Oh, yes, the detective again. Yes! Heavy rain! Heavy rain! Time to solve some murders in heavy rain! Should be far. No androids allowed. Fuck you, Jim! Or dogs. Wow, fuck you, Jimmy. Okay, well, um, breaking the rules already! Be like, oh, what the fuck? Final Lieutenant Anderson. Anderson? General. Security guard. Satellite. Alright. There he is. Good record? No. I saw I'll other people have. Let's check. And. Alright, see the administrator. Okay. How are you, buddy? Take a tax. Okay. <laughs> look at this dude, like. Look at him, he's like, motherfucker! Oh, uh, look, look at that face. He's like, motherfucker, did you not read the sign? <laughs> Alright, take a look at you, take a look, take a look at you buddy. What you got? Alright, so he's a, he's unemployed. Alright, don't come on record there. Face turned away. You turned away. What are you, buddy? Now I got to worry about? Oh, oh, I see they got a DUI. Oh boy. That's your problem. Uh, let me check up you guys. Let me check. What are you, huh? Narcox supplier? Uh, there's a drug deal going on? What are you, buddy? Ain't that gonna worry about you? Domestic abuse? What? Um. So, so, hey, get out of here! So it's a drug dealer, or something. Check your face, real quick. Watch you. Watch both of you. All right, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. For a few. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Oh. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, fuck you too. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Finish your drink. Let's go. You know what? I'll buy you one for the room. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that Jim wonders the technology. Make it a double. Let's see. Yeah, drink. I'll have to go. Oh. I know, right? It's a spot. Did you say homicide? Yeah, homicide. 
Yeah, so let's go. I thought, I thought this was the detective really like. I kind of want to be a detective now. I'd be the best detective in New York. I guarantee you. Okay, so is this detective really like? I, I, I kind of want to know. If anybody knows who's actually here. detective, please let me know. Let me know if there's an opening. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking man, whatever I say. I'll okay. Bye! This is a Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. I'm a cop. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? The fit of the order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Uh, who's the actor for this guy? He looked familiar. You started to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So? Yourself an Android, huh? I forgot. I forgot who the Just actor is. For that one. We had a call around the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Okay. Try not to try not use stairs. Jesus, that smell. Luckily, I don't smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three wait, weeks. Wait, wait, see a wall? The coroner wait, gets here. I There's am a alive. kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside of the So, it could be the android could have done it. Now, the, the, the sign there says, I am alive. The way it's written there seems way too, like, perfectionist. Way too, like, like, the per like, you know, like, it's way too you know, I don't know the word, but, like, way too, like, fucking, you know what, Liz, to be human. So, no fingerprints. Could be an android. Uh, yeah, the camera could have, like, you know, easily worn some or something. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. There. Tried blood. It's the victim's blood. So definitely the knife is definitely the murder weapon. So we need to be done with the murder weapon. There's a drop of blood right there. Okay. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? But I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Uh, some sort of drug? Red eyes. Oh, he's doing drugs. Could this possibly be some sort of drug related crime? Maybe he owed money to somebody? Red eyes. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Take a look at the sign here. Yeah. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Alright, multiple stab wounds. 26 knife wounds. That's, that seems to be out of range. So whoever did this clearly had some sort of range. Because I'm pretty sure no other person would stab somebody 28 times. Not unless they were extremely pissed off. Defective wounds. So, so it looks like he has some sort of defective wounds. Let's rewind this. Well, he's 
sit on a couch. Foul. So, so basically, what happened is she was stabbed somewhere in the kitchen. She was stabbed. He was stabbed somewhere in the kitchen. Tried to crawl away. So, what happened is that it happened in the kitchen. The victim was stabbed, probably once in the kitchen. He tried to get away, but the but the, the perpetrator came up and stabbed it again. He tried to crawl away again, and then this is where it happened. He stabbed once more as he's escaping. Then on the floor, see right there, out of range. So whoever did this probably has some sort of like. So, like, he was stabbed time. so 28 times. So whoever did this had to yeah. throw rage, had to throw of, like, Seems like the killer really had an extreme anger towards him. So somebody that he knows. Because a regular burglar, like, you know, if, if a guy, like a burglar wants to commit murder, he doesn't commit, he doesn't, like, stab away 28 times. Not unless he's doing it out of rage, out of spite, out of anger. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Here's my theory so far. He owed a lot of money to somebody. He did a lot of drugs. He owed money to somebody. And that person kind of just, you know, decided enough is enough and stabbed the fuck out of him. Could possibly be an injury, though. Aggravated assault. I'm struggling. But there's time to break it. Assault. So he must have fought back or something. Oh. Yeah, so clear there's somebody here. The deviant took a knife. Wait a minute, so he was defending himself. So deviant so basically what happened is he came in with a bat, swung at the android, attempting to, like, attempt to kill the android, and the android took a knife to defend himself. But why go the trouble of stabbing him 28 times to build just up the fence? Attacked, emotionally shocked. So, the de so basically, he attacked the android multiple times, took the knife from it to defend himself. At that point, why did he stab him 28 times then if it was just self defense? Before I report it, I want to know exactly, like, red blood. How I got that. Oh, wait, I didn't get that? Gosh, we, no, Android sex officially better. Oh! I. Oh. Out the way, dude! Out the way! Let me read more on this. Let me read this more. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, what if he believed... So, he does drugs. He's a drug addict. I know that shit. So, what if he was into deeds, deaths? I saw that article believing that maybe his android it was spying on him. He got paranoid and attempted to kill his android. Then the android re reacted in self defense. But then, if he acted in self defense, then why did he stab him 28 times? Huh? I'll set some right. Oh, 
yeah, um, I have to report it. So, he was doing some religious offering. So, what does that have to do with the case? Was it some sort of, I don't know, ritualistic, religious sacrifice thing? Uh, no, no, let's report it when we find the lieutenant, see what he can think about it. Lieutenant! There you go, Lieutenant! Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, but Edward probably cooking dinner or something. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Uh, Edward probably... I think the victim attacked the android... The bat. With the bat. Yeah, Android acted as self defense. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. Then in self defense, the Android took the knife. The Android stabbed the victim. Self defense. They went bang. So the Android was trying to defend itself. Right? Yeah. But then why keep on stabbing? And then what happened? The victim fled to. Why would the android continue on stabbing her? It was self-defense. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. But why? The android murdered the victim. But why? With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. Therium. No. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. So it evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. Uh, but not to androids. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Yep. Correct. Give me a hand. Or not. Okay. Maybe something in the back. Stool, maybe? Okay. No. Ah, here we go. Locked from the inside. Kind of must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Killer's still in the attic. He's still in the attic! Check something. Yeah. Here we go. 
objects. That's gonna be the first part, guys! When we come back, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be hopefully solving this another case. Open and shut case, Justin! We open, we're gonna solve another case, finding out why exactly did this guy attack the android. And what the hell, like, hopefully, like, when we're done with this, we're gonna go right back to camera, because I really want to know about Carol's story. I kind of want to know how the fuck we're gonna survive that. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, everybody, and that cool bell thing on the side to always stay notified. I'll be seeing you guys in the next Android filled part. Peace out, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Hold on to something.